This video is going to be reaction to the discussion of Jojo's Part Six, Episode Five, Stone Ocean. The reaction is now going to commence. Well, there has been dreaming stands before. Obviously, if Jotaro doesn't remember, only Kakyo and those. Oh, yeah. How did you know? Yeah. Yeah. Good work, Jotaro. It isn't. Yes. Oh, I love how messy this is. There you go. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Maybe. Oh. 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 Alright. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes! It was! My voice. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This was amazing. Jotaro is totally the guy that would do that. Ora! Okay. What about the arrow? With Stone Ocean, uh, with Star Platinum, it's not that difficult to live, but. Interesting power, John. Oh my goodness. Yep. Speedwagon's legacy will always live. I love the fact that Speedwagon is technically present to the very end. You're not escaping that easily, right? I love the fact that both of them do auras. Huh? This is so strange! How she looked in the past. He was not there for him. Oh, rather, he was not there for her. Can't speak. Not the right time, but sure. Or Jotaro? Oh. She noticed as well. Not very quietly. Oh. oh. Is that John or another stand user? Yeah. Wait, but. Huh, huh? Right. Yeah. 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 Good work. Good work. Good thinking. Right. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. A desk? Oh. Huh. Speak. Huh. What's happening to those discs? Star Platinum? He didn't take Star Platinum, did he? And I love that it's as a desk, yeah? Yeah, right. But he can't use Star Platinum, can he? No way, they're getting rid of Jotaro like that. They're not. <laughs> sure you have. I mean, yeah, we know he'll have. You, you have a very interesting way of showing it, but yeah. Jotaro is living. Yeah, someone that can steal stands. Huh! Awesome. Since when? Ha. There you go. Attack rush? Oh, indeed. Right. Yeah. Ora, ora. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His daughter, indeed. Fair enough. What is that about it? Yeah. 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 Is he are you gonna do the proud thing? No way. No. No, 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 not a Josta. Especially Jotter. If Josta is here, Speedwagon never disappoints. As a Josta? Yeah, of course. No, I'm about to throw this chair. About to throw this chair. No, 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 you didn't off Jotaro like that. You didn't off Jotaro. No. This is an Avdo situation. This is an Avdo situation. But he took two discs, Julian. Two discs. Two discs. Two discs. No. The episode is almost over. They didn't kill off Jotaro. Did you kill off Jotaro? Just for little. I will not believe it yet. They're not. Right. Did the Speedwagon Foundation take him? Oh, his spirit was torn. Yeah. Yes. What? Her ability? Really? Jotaro, I do not know what you're talking about. Yes. Yes. Oh yes, he will. Father, daughter, ora ora. <laughs> okay, this guy, who we thought was gonna be a villain. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Huh. Yeah, he are not living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not shocked. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah.
I loved this episode after I revised the Jotaro's life. If they killed off Jotaro for the development of his daughter, I would have quit. If you wanna kill off Jotaro, sure, sure. I wanted to be against uh, 50 deal level characters. Yes, yes, if you wouldn't mind. That's how you're killing off Jotaro. Jotaro is not dying like that. He isn't. Uh, and I'm glad he isn't. They did took out two discs and they had a feeling. Good question is why did he need Jotaro alive? Is the real question. That's the real, 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 real question I'm curious about. Because I really, really don't know what's happening. And yeah, this episode was amazing. It really was better than I expected. I really, really appreciate it. It does make sense that there were two different stand users. Obviously, Juline is gonna try to get her father back. I hope Jotaro, I mean, it makes sense. Jotaro needs to be taken out of the story. Otherwise, you lose. And I love how Jotaro is obviously you know, by the whole world known as the most powerful stand user. She's the invincible stand user. And yet he is almost never able to show off because the author knows that if he does, he wins. That's how it is. Jotaro can't show off unless it's the end of the chapter, which, which, which I can accept. And hey, uh, Jotaro was not exactly taken. Okay, this was a double team that he was taken out by and he was protecting Julian at the same time. Sure, I can live with the fact they were able to get him. As long as he's not dead. And he isn't. So I'm fine. If he was not. Okay, it's fine. We're not talking about the Dushans. The author of Jojo's knows very well that if he's killing off Jotaro, it needs to be epic. And this was not epic. It wasn't. It just wasn't. Side characters have had much better deaths than this. So no. No, it wasn't. Hence, I'm glad they showed two discs. I am very curious to what he's gonna use Jotaro's information for. We know, I mean, Star Platinum, why wouldn't you want Star Platinum? Why do I have the feeling that if that guy can still stand the bodies, which he cl clearly can, but if he can use them, why do I have the sneaking suspicion that Star Platinum is all of a sudden gonna be as overpowered as it used to be? I don't know, maybe it's the thing of... <laughs> Uh, the thing of whenever you fight the boss and when you unlock it as a playable character, the difference? Yeah? Yeah? That's exactly how it's gonna be. It really will be. And it's gonna hurt. But, uh, talking about powerful abilities, Juline was interesting. So she can redirect the bullets. Obviously, if she can still use uh, her healing, uh, healing? healing ability. I wonder where she's gonna gain any healing I assume that she left her the body with the Speedwagon Foundation so that they can take care of it. And then she's just gonna retrieve the discs and hopefully, hopefully enough, destroy that guy, whoever he is. I am very happy that they did it as they did. They had to remove Jotaro out because, come on, they did it in a good way. I'm glad this is one of the few times where I accept it. Okay, it's not a good way. It's clear that the story is going out of its way to remove Jotaro. And yes, it's obvious because, as that guy has said, he's the invincible stand user. Jotaro is insane. He's stupidly powerful. He needs to be removed so that we can have Julian shine a little bit. Hence, I don't know, the illusions of that guy, though, they kind of really confused me a lot, which that was the point. Yeah, the stand ability of the sludge guy that can also get the discs, that's the thing where I mean where, 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 where? Uh, stand abilities have 70 different abilities for some reason. It just, I don't know, just different stand abilities can do many different things. You would think that they have one ability, but they have seven different, and you know what, I'm getting very distressed and I'm looking at the nothingness. But hey, Julian is alive, Jotaro's alive. We learned a little bit about the kid who apparently is the son of a, of someone who was actually convicted here and lost her life to John whatever. And she was her stand to him, so he collects stand users. This was a great episode to show that, yes, Jotaro did care. And all the times that he was probably going off in other countries and so on and so forth, I have the feeling it was stand-related. 
I really have the feeling it was stand related. I don't know what happened to my voice. Honestly, I kind of screamed a couple of times. I actually did. And come on, it's Jotaro. I have to scream. So, yeah. <laughs> if I thought that he was gonna lose his life. If he actually lost it though, I might have quit right over there and then. But hey, as I said, he didn't. There's still a chance. I'm sorry, just the prospect of... I, I feel if you've watched Black Clover, there is a another such situation where a very cool character which I personally like and this kind of a main character almost dies and I'm thinking the author wouldn't dare B but in this case it's even worse because I like Jotaro more and yeah it, I, I, I'm still shocked I'm still shocked of the prospect that there was a chance that we might lose Jotaro but hey uh, obviously, you know, Junini is gonna build up more and more people. I'm certain that that kid obviously has some sort of a stand. I'm certain at least. I'm pretty certain. And yeah, I'm certain at least. I'm pretty certain. You know what? English is difficult. The almost death of Jotaro is still shocking. Well, granted, I think he is actually dead, but he's probably gonna be revived. Yeah, this is, this disc ability is very curious. Important thing is that this was a very good episode that Jotaro is still alive and that Julene is gonna get more opportunities to shine and she's gonna build up a crew around her as every Jojo needs to do and just to say relationship built up in this episode just for a single episode good pretty good I would have liked more but we don't know when they're gonna get Jotaro back and we might get little more and also I don't even know where these 12 episodes are the whole series pretty positive they are I hope they really aren't but hey we'll see there's a video, it's a there, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.